I'm like choking on something garlicky from lunch. Mm. Mm. That got recorded. friends and welcome to another video where Marshall catches up. Yeah, we, we, we talk about books that she read and I read, but I read at a later point in time. So I finished all of the Truly Devious series. Yeah, you. That was so fun. <laughs> Stars. There you go. For, for the last one? All, all three of them. I just really enjoyed this series. Okay. All, all in all. Truly Devious is a series about this girl, Stevie who goes to this highfalutin academy now uh, that they've discovered that she's some super detective genius mm -hmm. from the Bronx or something. And she is there, and she is there to solve an ancient mystery of this school about where the... Um, ancient? Really ancient. Well, ancient to the school. <laughs> It's Ancient. like literally 70 or 80 years old. Like, <laughs> ancient. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm looking at decades. Okay, continue. Well, it was decades. The, the mystery of what happened to the daughter of the founder of the school, um, who kidnapped her and why. When she gets there, though, as she's beginning her investigations, people start dying. And she, figuring out what's happening to them in the present is all because she's figuring out what's happening in the past and right. how it's all interwoven and how one becomes a red herring for another and i just that's what i'm starting to like about this series so much it's very intelligently written i think you really like maureen johnson's writing style as well mm -hmm. um i have read other things by maureen johnson i uh i don't know if they're necessarily your cup of tea because they are more of like um you know young adult semi-romantic mm -hmm. things, but I think you really like her writing style overall. There is some, a big romantic story that's going on throughout this. Right, yeah. But that, even though it's happening and it is a vital part of the story, it never was so overt that I felt like, well, okay, it's another romantic portion, let's mm -hmm. just get along. No, it really, like, this was still a part of the mystery because we know so little about her romantic interest. David, who is kind of a jerk, it kind of seems like, but he's not. A little but bit. he is, but he's not. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's fast forward uh, through to the last book and just mm -hmm. really talk about what are your lasting impressions of the series in general. Um, my lasting impressions is that it felt like this was an extremely good wrap up to the series mm -hmm. because it not only told you why each person died, but you now understand the underlying reasons behind everything. Like, as the stories went on, I narrowed it down consecutively. And I was correct in who was the person and why they were doing it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the full breadth of the concept. Right. Now, that's yeah. what I liked about it, is that even if you solve the mystery, you don't have the full view. Right. And that's what's great about it. Also, moose. We found the moose. We do find the moose. Yes. He's over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, to sum up, you liked it. I liked it a lot. Ah, uh, so what would what would how would you recommend this book to people? Book series, not just book. There's three. Yeah, there is, there's three of them, and there's kind of like a side story one that that's coming. It's coming out. out next year. It's yeah. more of like a not the same mystery, but the same people, and they're at mm -hmm. camp apparently. Yeah, which mm -hmm. seems interesting. Um, if you like books about kids at school with a mystery, this is good. Like this is like Harry Potter without magic. Kind of, yeah. Mysteries instead. That's a good way of putting it. Sure. I think. Yeah. 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 So thank you so much for watching uh, Marshall Catches Up with Truly Dubious. Uh, but until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.